All right. Thanks everyone for joining. Uh, good turnout as always. Uh, um, as as always, these meetings are recorded. We post them online for people who can't be here. Um, if that's a concern for anyone, uh, please let me know uh, now or after the meeting. Uh, the agendas are our normal one. Um, just uh, a lot of updates on on these topics. Um, introductions. Um, I'm not sure if you've met everyone here, August. So uh, we should might as well just have introductions. Uh, I'm. Why don't you go first, August? Okay. Uh, my name is August Jirbar, and I'm a uh, Open WRT developer, and I work at a company that makes routers actually um the name of the company is anonabox and um i just finished my first purple project and submitted it to lucy i'm in uh, chico california and uh i'm really excited to be working with the purple project here awesome thank you thank you uh, who wants to go next? Uh, Pasquale? Yeah. Okay, my name is Pasquale Bombino. I'm currently working in ADB, Advanced Digital Broadcast, and I'm currently heading the R&D engineering department for both the broadcast and the broadband devices from the software perspective, of course. I'm based in Milano, and uh, of course, I have the, the my team that is spread uh, not just in Milano but also in Poland, especially in Poland. Okay, thank you, Pasquale. Paul. Yeah, hi. Um, uh, Paul Blay, working at Imagination Technologies in the MIPS department. Um, we're primarily focusing. Well, the reason I'm here really is because of our Creator CI40 project, which runs OpenWRT. Um, and I'm uh, really managing kind of the the assurance on on these products, including the board farm setup that we have. So that's me. All right, thank you, uh, Matteo. Yeah, uh, Matteo Carlini from ADB. I'm working in the Pasquale team, and I'm heading the development of the software running on the gateways produced by ADB. That are by coincidence, running an OpenWRT uh, branch customized with our own proprietary software. Awesome. Thank you. Art? Hey, everybody. Uh, yeah, this is Art. I'm president of the Purple Foundation and just sitting in to listen. All right. Thanks, Art. So I think uh, that's everyone. Um, board farm status. Uh, it. Paul, do you have any updates on, on your board farm work? Uh, no, no, no. Well, there's, uh, we've been slowly sort of working through it. I'm, um, I got, I got some questions from Jeremy actually yesterday about what you currently had at purple. And I come to think of it, I don't think I've had, I haven't asked how you're doing over there for a while. I mean, in terms of how many boards and stuff you have on. Um, so that would be interesting for me. Sure. Yeah, definitely. I can I can do that. Uh, right now we have uh, two boards that are set up. Um, we I had a third one I had attempted to set up, but it with QCA uh, it actually didn't have support for the things that I that were required. Um, U boot basically was non functional, and there was no uh, there was actually no OpenWRT build for it. So uh, that one w went. Uh, didn't uh, went by the wayside. I received another board from Intel, um, one of their DSL boards, um, and then I uh, I'm pretty much the sec the second I have a little bit of free time, I will add it to it. But um, it would be great to get more boards and more devices that we can uh, we can add here to uh, test uh, against upstream Open WR Open WRT and lead. So. Yeah, and as you know, the team here are trying to upstream the CI40 support. And as soon as we're in a position where we think we've done that, I'll send a CI40 over to you to add. That's great. That'd be awesome. That'd yeah, be great. I could board too. That'd be awesome, August. We we very much appreciate that. We're um obviously we we wish everybody would would 
join purple as members but we're not as a the the group des has decided that we're not requiring that of of boards that are submitted um so that would be perfect thank you we can we can talk about the the details on how to how to go about doing that it's offline cool great well thank you it's great to great to hear that um so yeah, that that's that's kind of the update for me too. I haven't had a chance to look at the look at the Intel board. I've been been super busy with the uh, even though we have an event uh, event coordinator for the Open WRT summit, summit, there's still a lot to do. Uh, so uh, haven't had a chance to do that. Uh, anything else on board farm that anyone wants to talk about? All right, uh, funding OpenWRT projects. Uh, we have certainly still four projects approved and one completed. Um, and August is here. Um, he actually completed the project. Um, and would you like to do a like kind of a short presentation, August? Sure. You want to be able to share your screen? Yeah, I'm, uh, let me see if I can share my screen here. I just promoted you, so. <clears throat> That should help. Can you see my screen? Um, can you see my screen? Yep. Oh, good. All right. Yep, I can see it. Cool. Okay. Um, when I did screen sharing, it minimized my Fuse app, so I can't uh, I can't see it, your chats or anything. You can probably see. On my screen there. So, yeah, my <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so here's my uh, app over here. Uh, my app is a internet access scheduler. So we had some requests for people who wanted to say kick their kids offline at, at a certain time of day to make sure they do their homework or whatever, just as a basic example. And this is the uh, interface. It's actually a modified version of a project that was started maybe a couple years ago and apparently abandoned. So I went through and just finished it and then tested it for Chaos Calmer and Designated Driver. And it filters internet access for, by MAC address and time of day. So here I'll give you an example. <clears throat> um, click on add. And then here's a list of MAC addresses and their associated names. I'll just pick, uh, I don't even know. This one's my laptop, so I'll do this one here. I think that might be a printer. We'll say printer. So um, here's the start and end time. Now, one caveat that I found was that times are always in UTC which is based on kernel times. Everything is implemented through the firewall rules. So firewall is going to use kernel time. So here I am in California. And so I have to translate my, uh, my local time <clears throat> into UTC. So that's why I wrote this, these few couple paragraphs and hopefully I described it well enough it's kind of a hard idea to convey to the end user but um <clears throat> once you once you know what time you want to schedule in utc you put it down here say 1201 and then 1202 and then over here you have the days of the week in case you want to give someone full access on the weekends let them use the internet as much as they want and then clicking save and apply implements the firewall rule, two rules actually, that apply to this MAC address. So <clears throat> over here I have a, a serial console, which uh, looks like it's not connected and I reconnect the serial. There it is. Okay, so listing the IP tables, those are all of them. And then I'll just grep one with say 215 in it. Since 215 is in the IP address. Um, or 
do since that's in the MAC address. There it is. Okay, so with this interface, I just made this firewall rule, which is rejecting all the traffic. And here's the MAC address, and it uses the time function. And there's the time that I put in. <clears throat> and then there's the word printer, which is what I use to designate it. And then um, when I want to delete it, I just uncheck the box or just uncheck it system wide. Click on save and apply. And then it deletes that firewall rule. And you can see that it's not in there anymore. And um, that's it in a nutshell. I'll, uh, I'll stop there for questions if anyone has any. Any questions, anyone, or comments? All right. Well, um, I I'll I'll start. There's there's a uh, I actually uh, looked through the code and and uh, built and and uh, put it in Lucy to see how it worked and I works very well and uh, on that I, from my testing, um, it's uh it. it I, it, it's one of those things that it's kind of surprising that it isn't wasn't already in OpenWRT. Um, so I'm glad that that this is added. Uh, a few things that I, I was I was thinking it'd be um, nice if uh, instead of MAC address you could do uh, zones, since uh, OpenWRT is uh, big on using zones. Maybe that's not the perfect use case. I'm not quite sure, but I don't know. Potentially could be useful. What do you mean by a zone? Oh, Maybe. like the like the LAN and WAN zone. Um, maybe maybe it's not a, a good use case because you could potentially have, um, let's say, uh, the, uh, for firewall zones in OpenWRT, you had a particular uh, port that was in a that was set to a particular firewall zone, and then you could say, well, everything that's on that port is uh, is firewalled at a particular time. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Say you had um, say you had a web service going on port 80 and you only wanted your website up during business hours, something like that. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, it might be a cool thing to do. Um, the other thing is, is certainly it'd be nice if you didn't have to convert it to UTC, um, but that's not the most straightforward process, I don't think. Um, but that's... Either you know you can certainly add that, or someone else can add it, or whatever some sort of conversions for the for the UI. But yeah, one um, more thing that I'd like to add actually is make the firewall rule redirect to a splash page instead of just oh. totally shutting off their internet. I'd rather redirect them to a page that says, "Sorry, your internet's been shut off for the following reasons," and whatever those are. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I think I'm going to work on next i think it would be a little bit nicer otherwise they say they're going to go to whoever's in charge of the router and say my internet doesn't work and they'll have to explain why they've been shut off rather than mm -hmm. a, a splash page yeah definitely that that makes sense i totally agree with that i think that i, th I think that's pretty cool and uh i think it's a good good thing to add to open wrt and and you had said that that you had uh this, you're actually going to be shipping this? Um, yeah. Yep, awesome. Yeah. So it was a feature clearly... that some of our customers actually requested before I even heard about the Purple project. Awesome. Well, that's great. Thank you. Any other questions or comments from anyone? All right. Well, thank you, August, uh, and uh, really appreciate the great work. Oh, thank you. Awesome. Uh, I will uh, get back to sharing my screen. Can folks see that? I can see, yeah. Great. Um, so uh, I don't have any update uh, from uh, Luca. Um, I know he was talking with Felix about uh, about his patch request for UCI, but I'm not I'm not sure if they came to any sort of agreement on that. 
Um, Felix's contract has been signed, uh, so he is starting. Um, so that is that is very good. Um, announcement for the next round of funding will be early next week. I'm finishing the blog post and uh, I'm going to get some additional ideas for uh, suggested projects from uh, Pasquale. I said he was going to send some over in the next few days. Um, if you have any ideas for projects that we think should be funded that would be valuable to Purple members, that we think would just be valuable in general, um, please do uh, recommend them. We're looking for projects. Uh, we don't want to, you know, we're happy to fund projects that are just, you know, ideas that people came up with on their own. Uh, the 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 problem sometimes is when you give people too broad of an idea, they they're like there's hesitation. They don't know what to submit and what is going to be accepted. So sometimes having a little bit of focus is very useful. Um, so we had we had mentioned adding Docker support to OpenWRT as a as a host. Uh, that one was was very uh, was seemed to be well received. Um, Kathy had a suggestion. There was there was support for uh, uh, some sort of graphics driver. Um, I'm not sure on the details, and then I'll have to talk to her more. Um, and and I know in Pasquale had it had a number of things to to uh, you know improve the use of OpenWRT for for carriers um, and uh, some interesting topics there. So um, if you have any other ideas, please send them to the mailing list. Um, email me some. Uh, however, and uh, we will we will get them on the list and uh, on the blog post. Cool. Uh, what's the what's the deadline for submission? Haven't actually decided that yet. I'll have to talk to Kathy. I would assume it's probably going to be about four weeks after we post, give or take. Um, I would guess that's uh, about. It seems to be a good length of time. I think. Cool. Yeah, so we will uh, we'll do that then. Um, no regulatory update that I've heard and in much. I did see an email though on the lead and OpenWRT list. It was actually from a, uh, I think it was a, was a QCA employee um, saying that they wanted to talk with folks about uh, what they could do uh, to improve in future products the ability of OpenWRT to be flashed on routers. I haven't been able to get in touch with them yet. It just happened, I think, yesterday afternoon I saw it. Um, but I, uh, I I had offered uh, my support for that effort to uh, try to get some people together and, and talk about what the requirements were and uh, what we could do. So, uh, but beyond that, I don't have any other regulatory update. Does anyone else have anything they want to talk about related to that? Oh, that sounds cool. Look, yeah, I'm looking forward to see what see what comes out of it. Definitely. Yeah. I'd hopefully, hopefully something positive. Um, Open WRT Summit. Uh, this has probably been we've uh, we've been working on this. Uh, I've been working on it with. Um, Shelly Cohen, who's the, our event organizer, uh, she is she's done an amazing job. Um, we are filling up extremely quickly. Uh, our uh, we are at about a little over 170 registrations. Um, we uh, we are at or near capacity, so we are going to may have to cancel um, registrations and or uh, you know cut off registrations in the near future. So if you have not registered and you want to come, please register as soon as possible. Uh, also, if you are um, had registered and find out you're not coming, um, it would be very helpful if you let us know so we can then uh, have that spot for somebody who, who is going to be able to make it. Um, so uh, we've kind of, uh, we've worked that out. We've also decided on the, um, where we're having the uh, after social event uh, the after event social event is going to be at, I think it's called Corroboree. I'm not sure if that's pronounced right. It's in the Sony Center. It's about a five or 10 minute walk from the conference site. So that will be, uh, that should be really good. Um, and I also have to um, get the exact schedule. I uh, have to post that. Uh, I just have to put it together and then post it probably next few days. 
So lots of stuff happening there. Um, I would encourage anybody who's interested to obviously go to the website or contact me and, um, and join us. It, it's going to be a good time. Um, yeah. Uh, any other questions? Uh, just one question from my side, uh, Matteo yep. speaking. Uh, it's regarding the career interest face-to-face -face meeting. So yeah. I read on the mails that it seems still uh, not yet, uh, I don't know, it's not feasible or uh, we cannot still confirm uh, that it could be on uh, October 14. I, so, I, mm. Oh, I actually uh, taught, I got an email from Chandana uh, from QCA today, she cannot uh, make it, she cannot make it that week. She's she's already booked. Um, okay. So we are going to have to reschedule. I just asked her today if she could make the week before because that was one that a lot of people could make um, on the Thursday and Friday. But other than that, we may have to. We'll probably have to extend it out. I, I suspect, um, given how close we are. But yeah, it's unfortunate. It would have been nice if we could have done that. But it, it's it's not going to work for all the people we need to have involved. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, any other topics that people want to bring up? Sorry, Eric. Uh, when's the next summit meeting or have we not got one booked yet? We we don't uh, we don't have one booked yet. Um, I didn't didn't know if we needed another one. Um, I don't know if okay. there's things that people wanted to talk about. Um, we were mostly ha I I think we kind of have it uh, well handled. But if if the committee wants to have another meeting, I'm more than happy doing that. Fine. I'll just uh, ping some questions over then by email. That okay. Doesn't need another meeting. All right. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. All right. Um, there's something else I was going to mention. Um, can't remember what it was. Um, I, I do one thing that I was going to do is I'm also going to certainly email uh, August the link to August project so people can see the source code and whatnot, um, as that is is a, a very important to uh, to the project. Um, Anything uh, yeah, else? I'd like to add. Oh yeah. I've got. Uh, we have our regular uh, commercial routers that we sell, but we also have a few uh, what we call dev kits, where the uh, USB to serial cable is already soldered on, and we've got a few of those. If anyone's interested, just email me at uh, August at an on the box dot com. And all right. That's what I, that one of those is what I wanted to donate to the uh, board farm project too. It's nice to have the, the serial cable so you can unbreak if you do a bad flash or something. Yeah, that's actually having access to the serial cable is actually a requirement of board farm. Uh, yeah. So uh, having it already on there is very helpful from our end. Um, so that's great. Thank you. That'd be awesome. You're welcome. Uh, any other, anything else that anyone wants to bring up? All right. Well, we're uh, right at uh, at 30 past. So um, thanks everyone for joining. We'll we'll talk again next week. And please uh, please uh, follow on the list and bring up anything that's that's uh, important. All right. All right. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. bye.